What's up guys, Steve here with Soul Lifts back in the gym in high speed. So I doubled the speed up here just to show the, the rotator warm ups without taking too much time. So I start off with some dumbbells. Use my standard set of uh, dumbbell warm ups and uh, try to turn there so you can see it from a couple of different angles. These are really, really lightweight. These are three kilo dumbbells. Uh, I suppose you could also do them with the little pink ones there. Um, so this one works for me, a little twist on the wrist there, help limber up the forearms, wrists, a little overhead press uh, with the dumbbells as well, and did some lateral raises. Nothing heavy, um, not too many reps, you just want to get that whole area all nice and warmed up. Switched over to some bands, and kind of following the, uh, the band warm up that I alluded to that uh, linked in another channel there, the Smitty Diesel three minute band warm up. You can always search Smitty Diesel three minute band warm up. Find uh, the full warm up there. This is kind of a truncated version of it. And just a few different ways to warm up your shoulders, rotators. I'm going to do a heavy shoulder day, so I want to make sure that I invest that time. You know, it's only five, ten minutes. Moving over to handstand push ups. First set felt all right, and I couldn't uh, take my usual position, so I had to to take over the. This is the only place I could do it really, and uh, got nine reps out the first time, and it was pretty decent. I love these because my face turns red like a tomato when I do them, which is hilarious when I'm uh, editing the video later. Second set, also pretty decent. The seven reps got a little. Uh, a little better cadence here than on the first set and struggling with the last couple but you know of course these days I'm, I'm weighing in pretty heavy so this is a, a taxing exercise and then I, I included this one I only got three reps on the other two sets and and I, I actually lost my foot in here so I kick right back up and then bounce off the beer uh, so you want to be careful that your that your distance is right I don't think my distance or handset was was quite right here uh, I felt off balance just through the whole set Moved over to the overhead press and warmed up with a few sets. So I started at uh, 60 by 5. Now I went for a, a personal record today. Uh, I matched my previous personal best, which was uh, was 90. And I went for 95, and, and I didn't quite make it. And you'll notice, of course, I've got the, the safety bars there. These are still warm-up sets, so I'm just doing a single rep at these. And I somehow missed the video uh, for the 90 kilo. So here's me failing at 95 almost got it there and just couldn't pop the the shoulders up the last little bit uh so did drop the weight back down to uh, 80 is the second working set here and uh this this felt real heavy after doing those warm-ups uh, i've got it up there good and you know push pressing a little bit here but it you know it wasn't an official push press day so as the weight comes down i'm trying to keep the form a little bit more strict for overhead press and got four reps out at 70 and again this was feeling really heavy so I push pressed up the last rep there uh, tried to tighten up the form here for a set at 60 this is the last working set that I did here and it was all right I think I uh, push pressed up the last rep or two on this one so I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get the 95. Unfortunately, the gym only goes up in 2.5 kilo plates. So I, I have a feeling if I if I had uh, 1.25 plates, I could have done it. And this is just the burnout set, if you can call it that. So just 10 reps at 40, just to warm down the shoulders. And this is uh, this heavy, you know, doing the uh, the, the handstand push-ups and then moving right over to overhead press is uh, very taxing on the shoulders. So I switched to dumbbells after this and did my one of my favorites, of course, it's standing one arm dumbbell shoulder press. Now, I tried something new with the forearms here, you know, because my forearms, uh, you know, there's some tennis elbow there, and uh, I put on some tensor bandage wraps, uh, some elbow support wraps the other day that you saw in the chest video. They didn't really quite do much of a job for me, so I decided to switch to these. I have a little triangular bump that's supposed to go over uh, the forearm and they actually did a pretty decent job uh, my forearms didn't hurt quite as much as they normally do after a heavy 
a heavy shoulder day. So the elbows were uh, were good. Uh, so I recommend them. If you, I'll, I'll probably do a review them up the uh, the name brand up and uh, just kind of show you what they look like. Only problem is it pinch the skin when you're doing heavy weights. You can live with that. Uh, <clears throat> taking a little breather there between sets. And this is, uh, you know, it's not the heaviest that I've got on these one arm presses, but I wasn't rocking back and forth from side to side too bad. Uh, for the most part, I was standing pretty straight up. There's me push pressing the last rep on uh, the right arm. And set up the grip and then move right over, keep going. And again, trying to keep as vertical as possible. You know, this is the third exercise after several sets. So muscle fatigue comes in, you just want to try not to lean too much. That was it for uh, overhead stuff. So I moved over, did some line rear delt flies. Love this exercise. Uh, it hits a bit of the traps and uh, the upper back, uh, but it is for me rear delt dominant. I don't have to worry about, uh, about my neck so much as I do when I'm uh, bent over with the forehead on a, on a bench. So I did four sets, 28 kilo dumbbells, uh, 12, 10, 10, and 12, and got a couple of interesting angles on it. Uh, this was, you know, this is something that's that's more of an isolation exercise, so it's it's a little bit easier to do after a lot of the heavy compound stuff. Well, the overhead stuff anyway. Earlier in the workout, so work through four sets of this. Here's the last set here. Didn't switch up the weight. Had a nice, uh, a nice rest between sets three and four, so I got a little, a little more juice here on the last set to go. And I moved over to do cable crossover machine rear delt flies. Unfortunately, my uh, my pec deck doesn't do rear delt flies, so I tried it this way. Unfortunately, the weight stack gets too close to the pulleys at the top. It's just not quite a tall enough machine. So I just did one set of 15 here, 10 on each side. And didn't really have a, a full range of motion, but it was a good burnout. And that was it. That was the shoulder day workout and it felt pretty good. I'm going to post up the workout details here. Uh, please comment, ask any questions you want in the comment section below. Other than that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep growing.